Hey there, Banger Studio. Uh, today's video is just a bit of fun, actually. I'm just going to show um, a bit more about how an outboard gearbox actually works. Um, recently, in a couple of other videos, we um, uh, took the bearing carrier out, which gives you some sense of what it looks like. Um, I think in the so that was for the oil seal change video, uh, and in the tear down video, we sort of looked at some of the components. Um, but I had an old gearbox lying around, so I've just cut the side out of it, and I'll give you a close up, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all actually put together. So I'm going to start off with a slightly longer shot, then I'll sort of take you much closer. So what we've got here is the main drive shaft uh, to the motor. So the motor up at the power head is what turns this drive shaft, which sends power down to the gearbox. And then what we've got here is the gear selector. So there's an oil seal around the drive shaft, there's an oil seal around the gear selector, and that's what allows you to keep oil in this section without water getting down into the gearbox or oil coming up. So main drive shaft in the motor and the gear selector. So they're the two ones coming down. So we'll zoom in now and I'll show you where they sort of meet the gearbox. So the main drive shaft comes down to this bevel gear here. This bevel gear is constantly meshed with this forward gear and this reverse gear. So these two larger, larger cogs and gears here are your forward gear and your reverse gear. And this sort of bevel pinion gear uh, is what drives those. And as the prop shaft turn, uh, sorry, the drive shaft turns, those two gears will always turn. So these are never disengaged. So when you hear kind of grinding in a gearbox, it's never, sorry, it's never these teeth grinding against these teeth. They're constantly engaged. They never actually mesh with each other. Here you've got a bearing, which is what the prop shaft goes through, and you've got another bearing in here. So these are the two bearings that allow the prop shaft to rotate smoothly, and that, that because there's the two there, it's what sort of keeps it aligned. Now this bearing carrier that we removed um, in the change in the oil seal and probably the strip down video I think. Um, this comes out entirely. It brings this uh, reverse gear with it. There's an o-ring here that stops water getting past that point into the gearbox. So this is what seals it here and it's also got oil seals here around the, around the prop shaft. So that section can come out but at the moment it's in place. Now this is the dog clutch in here and this slides forward and backwards. So at the moment, um, that dog clutch, it's got teeth on this face and it's got teeth on that face. And by teeth, I mean just large, you know, you can see as it sort of rotates, let's rotate the prop shaft. You can see they're just not only teeth, but what's about four different sort of squared sections. And they bite into the, these faces of the forward and reverse gear. Now the dog clutch is splined onto the shaft, that prop shaft has got uh, splines on it in there. So that dog clutch always spins with the prop shaft. As the prop shaft spins, that dog clutch always spins. And so this gearbox is currently in neutral. And what that means is this dog clutch is sitting in between, it's not engaged with the forward gear, it's not engaged with the reverse gear. So the engine can turn, and that forward and reverse gear can turn constantly, and the prop shaft still. The prop shaft can turn. I mean, I can turn the prop shaft in reverse and the, you know, doesn't matter. They're totally independent of each other. But the point is, these forward reverse gear are always locked to this um, bevel pinion gear. And this dog, cl dog clutch is always locked to the prop shaft. So that's the neutral position. Now, if I push down on this gear selector, the gear selector's pushed the dog clutch in to engage with this reverse gear. So what it means is the engine drives this pinion or the bevel gear. It then in turn drives the reverse gear. The reverse gear is now linked to the dog clutch and the dog clutch is splined onto the drive shaft. So now, as I turn it, we've got reverse. And as soon as I let go of that, it comes up into neutral and the prop's not turning, it turns occasionally you'll see just because of a bit of friction, there's no oil in this, etc. Um, then if it lifts up, it engages with the forward gear, and suddenly you've got forward drive. So in that situation, the pinion on the end of the drive shaft is driving the forward gear, the forward gear is now meshed with the dog clutch, the dog clutch splined onto the drive shaft, and the drive shaft pushes. So that's kind of pretty much it, it's pretty simple. Um, if I, let me see if I can show you this, I don't know what I've got. Got a 
a bit of spray maybe. But you can see here if I spray down the top, that's where the exhaust comes out. So the exhaust comes down from the top, it comes around this area, and then it comes out between the prop. So I'll, I'll do a bit of freehand and I'll give you a bit more of a show with the camera. But this section's open to seawater, and it's where the exhaust and the bulk of your cooling water comes out and comes out from behind your prop. Can't get into the gearbox because of this O-ring here. And this is the whole section you remove if you want to take your um, uh, bearing carrier out and replace the oil seals that are behind the prop shaft. So I'll just take the camera out and show you a few other angles and then we'll wrap it up. So once again from the top, this is the oil seal from the drive shaft. There's normally an oil seal around that gear selector as well. Looking down there, uh, where's my torch? If I shine some light, you can see that that's just where the exhaust goes straight down. This bearing carrier has those fins, and they're the fins that your uh, puller can hook around, or the outside edge here, if you want to pull this bearing carrier out. And the gear selector actually comes down into this section. You can see there's a little, little rod here, hopefully. Let me try some more light again for you. There we go. So that little rod um, is what um, allows the gear selector to push the dog clutch across. So that's about it for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed, a bit of a short one. Um, I just think it's quite interesting seeing these sorts of things. Not really a fixed video today or a repair video. Um, but hopefully I found it interesting. Hopefully, uh, you know, you learned something. Um, so the next couple of videos I'm going to try and get out of the workshop a little bit. Um, thinking I might do some chart work next, as well as some uh, rope work, some knot tying stuff. Um, the rope work, I'm not sort of going, going to go too much into how to tie knots, because I think there's lots of videos about that. So I'm going to be trying to focus on when to use them, what knots are good for, how you would use them actually on a boat, rather than just this theoretical, here's how you tie a knot. So, I'm going to try and make that a bit more interesting than it might otherwise be, hopefully. So let me know how I go. Anyway, so take care. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and I'll catch you soon. See ya.